Did I say that there are no Shia in Saudi Arabia? Huh? <laughs> I said Makkah has never been a Shia city. Is this true or is it false? I said that I do not anticipate Makkah becoming a Shia city. No. In the sense of Makkah accepting this doctrine that succession is divinely ordained and it is restricted to the family of the Prophet So on this doctrine we are talking about. I said that it is impossible for Makkah which is not Shia, it is Sunni. Only in this doctrinal sense we are talking. For a Sunni Makkah to give the bay'ah to an Imam al-Mahdi who is Shia. That's not possible. This is a statement I have made. And it has been twisted in so many different ways it becomes strange to look at. I gave this as my part of my argument that Imam al-Mahdi would not be Shia. But when he declares himself to be the Imam al-Mahdi at the Kaaba, I know there are going to be lots of Sunnis who will reject him. Lots of Sunnis will reject him, declare he's a terrorist. <laughs> Particularly the Sunnis living in the Zion Islam, you know, Saudi, um, United States of America and Canada and Britain and Europe and so on, and Australia and Singapore. He's a terrorist, says another new Osama bin Laden out there. <laughs> so some Sunni will accept him and follow him. Some Sunni. This one will say, but he is not the Obandi, so I'm not going to follow him. That one will say, he's not going to be Brailvi, so I'm not going to be following him. That one will say, he's not this one and he's not that. All the sectarian movements in Islam will disown him. <laughs> so who will follow Imam al-Mahdi on that day amongst the Sunnis? My view is very few. And then what will happen to the Shia? I believe that many Shia are going to reject him, Imam al-Mahdi. I believe that there are going to be Imam al-Mahdi's around the corner before the real Imam comes. The Zionists have probably already crafted an Imam al-Mahdi. I heard there's one in Turkey. Let me not mention his name. <laughs> Written a lot of books. <laughs> So, we're going to have a number of Imam al-Mahdi's coming along the road. And it is only those with true knowledge and insight, only they will be able to recognize, nope, that's an imposter. That is not the true Imam. And I fear, I fear, I fear for the Shia, who I consider to be Muslims and therefore my brothers that many of them are going to be taken for a ride by someone who's going to be an imposter coming along tomorrow and declaring, I'm Imam al-Mahdi. When will Imam al-Mahdi come? The answer is in Sahih Bukhari.